Ladies and gentlemen, friends, shipmates of the class of 1971, this is Captain Frank Culbertson, United States Navy retired, the commander of the third expedition to the International Space Station, and a member of the class of 1971. I want to welcome all of you to this place today. I have two messages I would like to give to you from space, if you would uh, listen for just one moment. First, I want to say welcome to all my classmates who are there. I really wish I could be with you to see you beat Boston College. I want to say hi to our classmate Tom O'Brien on the other side of the field. Sorry about this, Tom, but we're going to have to work on you today. I wish I could be there for the Army game. I'll miss that, but I'll be rooting for you from space. We have the high ground, I believe. And today, I think, is an important day for all of us to gather together to remember our time at the U.S. Naval Academy, our leadership in the country, and our participation in all the things that have happened over the years, but especially in the last week. The second part of my message, I would like to remember our classmate Chick Burlingame, the captain of the American Airlines flight that of course crashed into the Pentagon. Chick was a hero in my book, as were all of the Academy graduates who perished last week. And I think that uh, we should take a moment to remember them, as well as all of the victims of this terrible tragedy. America is a great country, America is the best country in the world, and I know we will pull together to go through this. We don't see any boundaries from here in space. We're working very hard to build an international partnership. I hope we can overcome the problems that have given us what we experienced in the last couple of weeks by working together, by leadership, and by the strength that we know is in our country. I would like to send a message from the station down in memory of Chick and of all of our graduates who perished and of all the victims of this tragedy, something that has never been done before from space. So I'd like to ask all of you to rise for a moment of silence as we play something from International Space Station Alpha. our country and God bless all of those who were affected by that last week. Thank you all very much. Starting to become emotional and I realized our country was under attack. I was ironically halfway through a Tom Clancy novel about a similar situation at the time and it almost put me inside the novel which was a very strange feeling. Um, but as we listened and, and events on the ground were described to us by um, uh, our flight surgeon and then by the Capcoms, uh, it became very real. And then once I saw it out the window and we took video as the second tower was collapsing, I uh, didn't know exactly what was happening, but I knew it was really bad because there was a big cloud of debris covering Manhattan. Um, that's when it really became painful because it was like seeing a wound in the side of, of of your country. Initial reaction was shock, of course. How could this possibly be, in hap be happening? And then as the reality sunk in, uh, uh, some fear that some family member or someone close to me might be affected by this, and then the realization that thousands of people really were affected, and then eventually that turned into anger at some point that someone would do this to us.
The first thing that struck us when we got home was the increased security. We knew it was there and we knew to expect it, but the reality of it from when I left to when I came back, all the barriers up, all the additional security checks at the airport. At that time, it, going into any public building was even more onerous then than it is now. Uh, but, uh, but it really was startling how things had changed. and it, We clearly were a country at war. I've met a lot of people that were affected by 9-11 in a lot of different ways. Um, uh, so I don't count myself as special or unique. I just had a, uh, the privilege of a fantastic vantage point. Um, yes, there was some oscillation, but there was also a viewpoint that, that um, I will always be uh, blessed with. But um, I think it's important for people to, to continue to learn the lessons from this and make sure that we are, in fact, making ourselves a better country as a result of it. I'm Yuri Mukhrenko, commander of the International Space Station. With me are flight engineer Carl Waltz and Dan Birch. On this day, we pause to celebrate the birthday and meaning of the U.S. flag, a sign of strength and unity for our nation. The American flag is more than a symbol. The stars and stripes tell our history and reinforce our future goals as a nation. And today, more than ever, it's important for all Americans to honor and celebrate our flag. The foundation uh, of Flag Day can be found in New York, where it first became a holiday in 1897. But it wasn't until President Harry Truman signed an act of Congress in 1949 that designated June 14th as National Flag Day. In December, we were on the space shuttle flight designated to honor the victims of the September 11th terrorist attacks. Along with flags from the city of New York, the Pentagon, and the state of Pennsylvania, we also carried nearly 6,000 small American flags into orbit on space shuttle Endeavor as part of the Flags for Heroes and Families campaign. The flags are being distributed to the survivors and families of the victims of the attacks. From space, we have a unique view of our planet. We see a world with no borders, no war, and no political differences. We hope our work on board the International Space Station will be seen as a way for all nations to work together to pioneer the future and in some small way show everyone how people of different nations can come together in space. Today, we pause to show our pride for America and to pay tribute to all the heroes of the terrorist attacks by taking the time to honor and celebrate the American flag. So it is fitting that we return the items flown for the Flags for Heroes and Families campaign on the day and to the place where it all started, New York. Our prayers are with all the families and friends of those whose lives were forever changed by the events of September 11th.